Today's episode, we are here on Washington Street at the depot at the Greensboro Transit Authority or the GTA. I'm so excited because it's been years since I've been on a bus. So I've been told today I'm going to sell a go pass, clean a bus, and also talk to some great and wonderful employees that work for the Greensboro Transit Authority. So come on, let's check it out today and see how Greensboro works. Rolling, 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 rolling down the trail I go. Rolling, 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 swinging, swinging, singing all the old cartoons I know. Hello, it's so good to finally meet you. I feel like I've been trying to come over here forever, but do you mind telling the audience um, your name and your title, maybe how long you've been with the city of Greensboro and a little bit about what you do? Okay, my name is Lisa Bartlett and I'm the customer service manager at Greensboro Transit Authority. I have been with um, GTA since 2009. I just um, got promoted to being the customer service manager in February of 2016. Congratulations. Thank you so much. And. Um, we do customer service as far as answering the phones, okay. giving everyone their schedule when they're needed to call in, and also um, purchasing tickets. Okay. Um, any purchase tickets from a one ride to a 31 day and to also with our go pass. Any questions they may have about part, we try to um, answer it the best way we can. If not, we will um, give them to the right phone number or to the right person or that to they the need right to touch person. Person. yes okay so I see you have something pulled up that looks very interesting what is this This is our daily schedule mm -hmm. this is our routes on our um, computer okay. that are also on our printed schedule as well and this is show this is route one it shows every stop and this is our beginning day which is 5 to 5 15 a.m. Oh, yes. we run every 30 minutes the top of the hour and the bottom of the hour so this gives our time for each stop that we have and, it, and right here are just some landmarks okay. for where the stops are or if you're looking for a certain company or business we try to put it here for landmarks for the person to find the actual stop. Okay now I've been living in Greensboro all my life let me get this straight the buses start rolling at 5 15 in the morning. 5 15 when I'm just rolling Friday. over y'all yes. are rolling the bus. Yes ma'am. Okay. okay. First pull out is at 5 15 okay. they run from 5 15 to 11 30 at night wow. Monday through Friday. Saturday, they run from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. And Sunday, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. all right. So how busy are you all typically? Because um, since I've been here the last couple of minutes, it's been busy. So tell me about a typical day here. Um, very busy. We probably take from 400 to 500 calls a day. Wow. Um, sometime on the weekend, it's a little bit more because we run every hour. We probably see or sell maybe 100 to 200 tickets a day. Mm -hmm. And normally we have three people in here. Mm -hmm. um, so each person um, sells a ticket at each window. Um, so I say maybe 200 wow. people or, a day between the three of them. And then it's all day from 5.15 to 11.30 at night. Well, you have been most helpful today. Thank I thank you. you so very much for You're walking welcome. me through the process. You're and welcome. I think actually now I'm gonna go outside and get some of the footage and see the buses coming in. So mm -hmm. that's gonna be the even more fun part yes. than talking to you because <laughs> yes. it's the next step in the process. So come on, let's go outside and take a look. Well, hi, Kevin. How are you doing? I'm great, Maria. How are you today? I'm doing well. One of my old friends, known you for quite some time exactly, now. Exactly. So I'm so eager and interested. This is actually one of my first times being here when it's kind of in action. So mm -hmm. could you tell, first of all, the audience a little bit about yourself, who you are, and you know how long you've been with the city, and then tell us about what you do as far as marketing okay. for GTA. Well, I'm the uh, marketing manager for Greensboro Transit Authority and the Public Transportation Division. I've been with the city about 12 years, and my responsibility is primarily the all of the marketing and communications and public outreach for the Transit Authority. I handle everything from the, uh, the website for GTA and HEAT, uh, to printing and designing the schedules, to selling wow. advertising, to uh, even uh, recording announcements that air on the buses. And why is that important to keep everything kind of still in the public eye and your job? Why is that so important as far as GTA is concerned? Well, communication with our riders is vital mm -hmm. because we do need to make sure that they're aware 
of information about the buses, about when they're running on time, when there may be issues that they need to be aware of, when there's going to be changes in service, and even things such as the rates and, uh, and the hours that we're running. We need to make sure that they are informed of what's going on so that right. they can make accurate decisions on their travel plans for that day. The Go Pass, I've heard about that Go Pass and the Go Pass card. Tell us a little bit about the marketing efforts behind that and exactly why that Go Pass is so important. Well, the Go Pass is GTA's smart card mm -hmm. that we've been using for about a year now. It is a rechargeable, reusable fare card that allows you to pay your fare on any GTA or Heath bus. You can purchase the Go Pass here at the depot, at our administrative offices, at uh, City Hall downtown, and any of the uh, Greensboro branch libraries. And basically, you put any amount that on the card, a minimum of $2, mm -hmm. and then there's a charge of $1 for the card itself. And then once you do that, you'll have that amount of money to use on the bus. Right. But here's where the special savings are. When you use that card on the bus, instead of charging $1.50 normal fare, it only charges $1.20. There's a savings for this GoPass card? Yes, basically oh, we say that okay. you can save about 20% by using the GoPass wow. versus paying a cash fare. Hi, sir. You want to buy a Go card? Okay, and that's your ID? Yeah. Okay, all right, so. How much you want to put on your card? Right. Two dollars on your okay. card? Okay. Let me get your money. Uh oh. Okay. Hey, that's for real. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. All right. And then we are counting. So we have two dollars. Okay. So we're going to put. Um, Two dollars. Two dollars in. And then we're going to get a um, disability go card. Gotcha. And then the dollar for the card. And we'll put the money in, inside. Perfect. Now, we'll get a go card. And it's one here. of those. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And tap right here. Okay. Put the money on it. So tap right here. Okay. And then um, put other. Other. And put two dollars. Just two. Yes. O-O. Mm-hmm. And done. Done. And then hit cash. Cash. And next. You said and swipe again. Yes. I remember uh -huh. that. You're a good and teacher. Yes, for the receipt. Yes. And then you would give him a receipt. Wonderful. I and saw and, um, Tell him how to use it, which means you're going to tap okay. it one time on the on the bus. Be careful how you tap it because it could take your money. Just tap it one time and back away. Okay? Just one time. Thank you, sir. Appreciate right. it. You have a good day. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. The motto of the way to move, I see that on the shirts. How does that motto apply to your marketing efforts? Because I get it, it's, it's very catchy, but how is that working as far as marketing is concerned? Well, we emphasize that GTA is the way to move in Greensboro mm -hmm. because it's one of the most efficient and effective ways of uh, traveling throughout the city of Greensboro. And so all of our marketing efforts are geared towards that in terms of uh, communicating the rider amenities that we offer, such as the kneeling buses, uh, the bus passes that are available to save you money, uh, also our uh, talking bus features, and a lot of the different things that we like to emphasize. Also, when we're designing, uh, when we're taking a look at our route materials, we try to design those to make those easy to read and understand, so that makes it easy for people to move as well. And even taking a look at emerging technologies, such as our hybrid buses mm -hmm. to help save fuel, which in turn saves money for the riders. Also, things that we're looking at down the road, such as uh, real-time bus tracking on your phone using an app. Wow. So and we're having to communicate the availability of these items to the general public. And so all of this works together in order to emphasize that we are the way to move. Definitely want to come back because it's been years since I rode a bus, but I just think the experience and the busyness, a lot of people in Greensboro don't know about the backside of the depot because I know I've been educated this short time that I've been here. So well, is there anything like, else you'd like to leave with them? Well, we like to think of the depot as a hidden jewel yes, because it is okay. the central hub for mm -hmm. our transfer operations. You don't see a lot of what's going on from the side facing Washington Street. You don't. Um, but when you come inside the depot and come to the backside, that's where you see all of the 
transfer operations uh, taking place. That's also where you see Amtrak when it pulls into the station, mm -hmm. as well as Greyhound. So there's a lot going on here. And with all of that going on, that is always good for Greensboro because that stimulates economic development. It stimulates education in terms of people going to college and furthering Absolutely. their education. And so it is definitely good for the city of Greensboro what goes on here at the depot. Absolutely. And I've noticed myself just here this short amount of time. I've seen students. I've seen all walks of life. I've seen elderly people. I've seen everybody come through. So again, it's the way to move. As yes. You said. For every race, every sex, there's so many walks of life that come here mm -hmm. uh, to the depot in order to use Greensboro Transit Authority along with heat to get to their intended destinations. All these buses are pulling in now, so where do the buses go when they're actually not rolling on the street? What's the other part of this? Well, once the buses return to the depot mm -hmm. and unload their last uh, load of passengers, then they proceed to go to our operations and maintenance facility where they are uh, placed into a nighttime service to get them ready for the next day. Okay, okay. Is that the facility off of West Meadowview? Yes, we're located okay. uh, located at 223 West Meadowview okay. Road between South Elm Eugene and Randall Bay. So I think it would be pretty cool. Can we take a look at that part next? Sure. You ready okay. to get dirty? I'm ready to get there. All right. All right. Now it looks like I'm about to have some fun. I'm here with Lolita Hextall. Yes. <laughs> and she is going to show me what she does. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to do it with you. Right, Lolita? Yes. <laughs> okay. So before we actually get down into the nitty gritty of things, tell me about what you do as far as maintaining the bus when it comes to this point. Okay. The drivers, they come in and they park and they slip outside. Um, we go out and retrieve the buses, bring them in, park them here. We check the oil, transmission fluid, coolant. We also fuel them um, and we jot down the numbers and um, how many um, gallons it took. And we also clean on the inside, the interior, sweeping, mopping. We do windows. We also probe, get the money out of here and have to put it in the uh, money machine and constantly ongoing all day. Constantly ongoing. Yes. And so do you work in the evenings primarily? I work in the evenings. I'm here from 5 to 1 a.m. Wow. Yeah. And your role again with GTA is? is the service lane. Service working. lane. Mm -hmm. And so basically you're here to make sure the buses are ready to roll. To for the roll next clean and probe and ready to go out into the community. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So what is a typical day like for you? I mean, is mm -hmm. it you have a pattern to do things or it kind of depends on what the bus looks like? Well, we have a pattern which we have on a wall over there. Mm -hmm. It tells us where we're going to be positioned because okay. we also have scats and we do the same for scats. Okay. And sometimes we may get like 1013s. A 1013 is a bus coming in and might have bodily fluid. So we have to clean that if it's anything like that we have to clean it so we should 1013 1013 that's yes. on your special channel right so yes it's all i don't want to ever hear no you don't want to do that okay all right okay <laughs> there's no 1013 in no this not bus, on right? this one okay good, no. good 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 okay <laughs> so and then pretty much you do all of those items to that bus yes like you said. yes and we also take them through the wash okay and it gets washed and we park them and like i said they're ready for the next day okay now, mm -hmm. I've seen a city bus riding down the street, and it's good and clean, so yeah. I can thank you for that. Then. Yeah, and all of our work is here. Yeah. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. They do a good job. Well, okay, well, hit some stuff on this bus. Okay. So I guess you're going to show me okay, some of this was... process, right? Wow. <laughs> okay. 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 And this where they drop the money? The money in, mm -hmm. and then it's complete, and we take this out. Sometimes it gets heavy, but this one is not that heavy. Okay. And take it out here. And then that's bus, what, 862? And so it comes on. Oh, it's just like sleeping now beneath yeah, the stars. Yeah, pretty much, but not with the <laughs> Okay. So what I do is get the, the... Just need my pony and my okay. guitar. And this is just for tracking purposes to make sure you're putting it right. accountable. And how much? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Enter, and then I will put holes one because that's holes number one. And then I'll enter it, and then we go back over here. Okay, and then you will come over here. 
and you squeeze the nozzle to it catches like this thing will release the pressure so it'll splatter out so we gotta check that and that's good if it's running that means it's full so it's good take me west okay let's feel like i'm in what a phenomenal afternoon I've had. I've actually sold the GoPass, I've learned about what customer service is all about for GTA, and it simply was so interesting seeing all that action. And I've also come to the operations facility where all the buses are maintained and everything actually happens on a daily basis. It's so rewarding to see buses scat, Main buses, everything happening as far as GTA is concerned for the city of Greensboro. And I can truly say today, I've learned again, that's how Greensboro works.